Hi folks, welcome back to Glowsniff Garage. Today we have got the Revell Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 1. Uh, first time I have built a Revell kit, so I'm really interested to see what the differences are. I'm used to building Tamiya, Fujimi, Yoshima, those type of kits, Japanese kits. Um, not had a Revell kit before, so take a quick look at the box and do the usual, open it up have a look at the sprues, see, what it, see how it's looking and take it for there. So first of all, it's really nice box art, lovely painting of the car. I'm a bit of a Japanese car guy but I do love Volkswagens and especially the Mark 1 Golfs. I think they're really cool cars. So we've we'll got the official Volkswagen product here. On the bottom here you've got some close-up photographs of the car. Comes with a full engine which is really great. Always enjoy building engines. Got some blub there about the car. Uh, whoops, upside down, same on the other side. Nothing much on the back here. And on the back we've got Different, some different Revel kits that are available at the moment. And this is a Revel put skill level numbers on the boxes to let you know sort of how difficult the kit is. So this is a skill level 4, I think 5 is the highest so I'm expecting this to be quite a detailed kit, especially with the engine as well so we'll get the box open take a look inside and i'll be back in a little second all right so i've got everything out the bags everything out the box and i want to just start off by saying that i'm not a fan of these reveal boxes um i'm used to having boxes that open top of the box comes off for these open on the side uh, and everything slides out I uh, really like when you first open the box, you see everything all laid out in front of you there and then it's a bit disappointing when everything just slides out. Um, I don't know if that's just me, uh, but that's just a silly wee gripe, but I uh, just thought I'd bring it up. So quite a hefty instruction manual here. Quite a few pages, I think this is the might be the biggest instruction manual that I've had to date. Quite a lot of work in this kit. And we've got our decals. Have a little look at them while we're here. So you get a lot of number plate options, which is really cool. It's a standard Golf GTI, get your German Wolfsburg uh, number plates there. more modern German number plates I think that's Czech Republic, French number plates, British Dutch Swedish, Italian Austrian, Belgian so yeah good uh, variation of number plates there oh, Denmark as well there, can't forget Denmark so we have got absolutely love these Seats patterns, that's a check. Seats, Got a red decal for around the front of the grill, GTI badge, various pinstripes for the side, your dials there, yep, decals look very nice. So, I'll take a look at the first sprue that I've got to hand here. There's quite a lot of uh, sprues, there's a lot of parts in this kit, so this might be a long one. So, first sprue. We've got the uh, front and rear bumpers. Steering wheel there too. And this little square rectangular piece, which I'm not sure what that's for. Front... Uh, Spoiler for under the front bumper. 
we'll bump it as well. Next up we have a sprue with some engine parts and your interior parts. So you've got your engine bay there. It's your front radiator. Pedals, battery, oil pan and the bottom of the transmission, section of exhaust, some axles, so the firewall, your front bonnet and your main interior tub and a radiator fan next up this is a uh, section of the exhaust and the backs of the wheels these wheels are two piece wheels or three piece wheels so they come in uh, a couple of sections that you have to put together don't know if i'm going to use the standard steel wheels not made my mind up here i saw some uh, someone share some 3d printed pirelli p slots which probably one of my favourite wheels so I would love to get a set of those to put in this they would look perfect in this car and next up we have got the left hand drive and right hand drive dashboards and also the steel wheels and we've got our two door cards and your gear shift So your rear panel for your lights. Center console and your side mirrors. Next up we have got the engine. This is the main engine block. So your two halves of your four cylinder engine. Timing cover. Your headers there, brake booster, pulleys and belts, various pipework, looks like a washer bottle or something there too. Looks like some reservoirs for coolant or something, and some more. Piping, probably sort of radiator hoses or whatever. Next up, we have front grill. Along with a separately moulded Volkswagen badge, which is really nice. Obviously, slots right in that little hole there. And we've got some. Volkswagen hubcaps. I don't think these are for this kit as they don't go over the steel wheels. It must be for a different kit. Next up we have the chassis. Very nicely moulded. Looks like some Spaces for the wheels or something here. Your rear subframe and rear brakes. Section of the exhaust. Your steering column and window wipers with your suspension struts and springs. Front and rear panels for your Window wipers, so the front subframe. I've actually got, I think these are really cool. I'll show them for the proper side so you can see the detail on them. Uh, plastic seat belts, I've never seen that before. In fact, it's the wrong way around. That's 
pretty cool. It's really cool, I like that. So next up, this is the interior sprue and some more engine parts. So this actually comes with the headliner of the, uh, the car, so that's another nice touch. I've never seen that before in a kit. Separately moulded uh, headliner. Seats there. A little bit of flash on the seats, not too bad though. The rear seats too. The seat backs as well. Parcel shelf, and then we have more engine parts. We are cam cover, various pipes and hoses. Your air intake, oil cooler, handbrake, yep. There's quite a lot of bits to this kit. Next we have our clear parts. So instead of a single clear piece, we have separate windows for each front rear side windows and your rear light covers with some indicators on there and then we have the windshield front headlights and some more side marker indicators as well and then also got some super skinny tires Then, last but not least, we have the body shell. Now, I'm not sure exactly when this kit was first tooled, but the body shell is going to need a little bit of work to get it looking right. Got quite a bad mould lines just on the front here, running along the front edge, both sides. You can see inside you've got flash all along here. And on the rear, we've got two heavy mould lines running down either side. This actually goes from being a mould line to being recessed, so that will need a little bit of filler to smooth that off. I don't know if the light will pick that up. But let's say it's probably quite an old kit, um, or quite an old tooling, so... Uh, it's kind of to be expected. So as you can see, you've got sort of separately moulded sections, as, as you saw in the sprue. They have to go in the back and front there, and your grill and stuff fits in. But I'm actually really looking forward to getting into this kit. Uh, kit I need to finish off before this, but I think I'll be putting everything else in hold to get stuck into this kit. I really love these detailed kits. Um, the engine bay and stuff, really love doing that kind of thing, so I cannot wait to get started in this one. So, there you have it, my very first Revell kit. Um, absolutely love these VW, VW Golf GTIs. Um, used to be a bit of a VW fanboy a while ago, uh, so it's always nice to get a little kit of a car that I used to love. Pretty impressed with the level of detail, the level of parts and stuff that are in this kit um, and like I say, cannot wait to get stuck into it so that was it the Revell Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI if you made it this far in the video always appreciate a little subscription a little comment, a little like it helps me out a lot, helps more people see the videos and I really appreciate it I am so Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in another video really soon. Cheers. Bye.